from days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. We must not forget how Voltron helped us. He brought peace to our planet. I hope someday I get a chance to see Voltron. <gasps> Look in the sky! Oh. They've come back! Look out! That doesn't look like Lotor's ship. Who could it be? Oh, 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 don't let them get away. Who oh, no. oh, doing all this? It's I, Cossack the Terrible, Envoy of Doom. Well, Sven, we've finally got the dam back in operation. It was destroyed in Zarkon's last attack. Now that you're here to lead us, Sven, I don't think Zarkon would dare to return. I wish I could agree with you, but remember, I was a slave on Planet Doom. I know how cruel Zarkon can be. He never gives up. It's true, Zarkon is relentless, but you were a member of the Voltron Force. If anyone can defend us, you can. Captain... Sven, Planet Pollux is grateful to you. I appreciate that, Captain. As an officer of the Galaxy Alliance, it is my duty to help. I will do everything I can to maintain peace. That's all we can ask. Well, Sven, I guess this makes it official. I'm sure you're gonna miss piloting the Blue Lion, but if you left Planet Pollux... There's someone you'd miss even more! Pandor! Don't worry! I won't say a word about you and Romel! Pandor, you stop that! Stop what? I didn't say a thing! Prince Pandor, please. Your sister saved my life when I was on Planet Doom, and I will always be grateful for that. Oh, so you're saying the only thing you feel is gratitude? Well, I don't doubt your words, Sven, but I do wonder why every time she comes over to talk to you, you start to blush. That's enough, Bandor. Sven is a very important pilot. He does not blush. Maybe not, but you sure do. <gasps> well, it is the truth, you know. It's perfectly clear. What is? You're in love, but Sven won't say it because he's just a pilot. <gasps> Stop it. No, no. <laughs> He's right, Rommel. I have nothing to offer you. I am only a flyer. And you are from a famous royal family. Yet someday when Zarkhan is defeated, perhaps he will speak of love. Now listen, Bandor. Don't say another word. I'm just glad Sven is here and Zarkhan isn't. Somebody's got to warn Sven. If anyone tries to escape, they will feel the sting of my mighty Electrolash. I, Cossack the Terrible, have spoken. This is our planet, our world. You have no right to come here. Quiet, slave. You'll do as you're told. They're going to take them away to be slaves on planet Doom. Go warn Sven. I'll slow them down. Father! Hurry! Look out! So stop him! Get the intruder! Infidel! Capture him and take him along with the others! Ooh. 
It's an invasion! We're under attack! Oh no, it must be King Zarkon again. Yeah, he sent a general named Cossack. They're taking everyone away. We must stop him. Sven. Go and warn the Voltron force at once. Oh, be careful, Sven. I'm right behind you, Sven! Planet Eris, this is your sister planet Pollux calling Castle Control. We are being invaded by the evil forces of Planet Doom. We are in urgent need of reinforcements. Cousin Alora, I know I can count on you. Believe it. Come on, boys. What do you say? Let's go for the lions. Right. Let's go. Come All on, right. let's go. I hope they're not too late. Voltron will be back after these messages. Now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Cover me, Bender! Sam, look out! Small prey. These are not the ones I was hunting for. Hold on! I'm coming! All right, finish them off. Wait, Commander Cossack. I'm getting something on the Ultra Wave. They're approaching from the Crimson Quadrant. Yes, it's them, the Robot Lions. <laughs> Perfect timing. Hold the attack. What? All forces depart immediately. What's this? Hey! Coward! Come back here and fight, you creeps! It's as if they landed this way. But why? Planet Pollux is straight ahead, Keith. We're changing course, Princess. Tilt toward the Aurora Quasar. But why? I'm picking up a signal. It's coming from that asteroid belt. There's something out there. Listen, witch. The Voltron Force is heading toward the Aurora Quasar. Just where I want them. If they stay on course, I'll soon give you a very special gift. The Princess. Hagar, you will be rewarded well for this. I must have Aurora for my bride. I will wait for her at my secret power base, but don't tell my father. He will know nothing about this, my lord. Right, Kitty? <laughs> King Zarkon, I am pleased to see you, sire. Oh, and what were you plotting with Lotor? It was just a friendly chat, sire. Beware, Hagar. My son's love for Princess Allura is foolish and dangerous. If you are thinking of helping him in any way whatsoever, think again. Is that clear, old woman? Yes, quite clear. But what he doesn't know won't hurt him. I... Keith, there's some kind of battlecraft out there. Then let's catch it! Right, Lance. All lions ready. Be on guard. This is a dangerous region. Sire, the lions are gaining on us. We've lured them within range. Good. Head for the asteroids. Yes, sir. Hey! It's all right in here! Yeah! Dodging asteroids is a blast! Princess, did you hit some interference back there? Yes, Keith. It's from that quasar. <gasps> Princess, pull back up. We can't follow you. <sighs> Blue Lion, come in. We need your position. Princess! <gasps> Keith, we've lost her. Wait, I've got her on the ultra wave. Princess, pull out of it. He's gone. It's a pretty tight fit. This thing looks like it goes on forever. And there's no sign of the princess anywhere. Oh. 
Uh. Hey, this is Alora. Come in, Keith. Pidge, Lance, Hunk, anybody. This is Blue Lion. It's no use. Well, better find out where I am. It's all volcanic rock. Well, it ends here. What is this place? Oh, Lotor's robots! Don't take another step! I warned you! Oh. Get back! Oh. I should have known. <laughs> Together at last. The princess and the prince. Some prince. Accepted, Allura. We're both of royal blood. We're meant for each other. I'm prepared to forget the past. I could never forget the evil you've done. Now you let me go. Go? But my friend worked so hard to lure you here. May I introduce you to Cossack, the terror? Your humble servant, miss. You're no servant. You're just a bully who works for a bigger bully. Well, she's quite spirited, isn't she? Let me tell you something. I don't care how many titles or uniforms you have. They can't cover up what you really are. <clears throat> My dear princess, this is just a game. He who has the most power wins the game and the prize. You are my prize. Don't fight it, Allura. I assure you that you will be my bride. Enjoy yourself. You'll have slaves to wait on you and the universe at your feet. Forget it. Huh? You can't force people to love you or care for you. Love is built on uh -huh. kindness, not fear. Take her away. I swear upon all that is evil, she will be mine. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. To get acquainted before we marry, I thought we'd begin with dinner and a show. Who knows where it will lead? Fine cuisine. Delicacies from all the planets I've conquered. Surely, you'll try some. Do you really think I would eat food that was stolen from innocent people? I am a princess, sworn to uphold the honor of the royal house of Eris. Oh, come now, Allura. One does not eat because of one's honor. One eats because one is hungry. Take my little ghoul dog here, for example. His conscience will not interrupt his feet. But if you don't want dinner, let's move ahead to the show. This farmer is from Planet Pollux. Let go of me! Lotor, how can you do this? You must let him go. I'll grant your request if you'll grant mine. Be my bride. Say yes, and he'll go free. Say no, and the whole lot of them will remain slaves forever. It's up to you. <laughs> Well, what's your answer? I'll never give in to you, Lotor, because no matter what you do, the Voltron Force will find those people and save them. Voltron Force? Yes, you and your robots will never be a match for Voltron. There is no Voltron without Blue Lion, is there? The Robot Lions? Only four of them. And soon there will be none! Oh, no! Hold on, team! I think there's something ahead of us! An energy field! I hit it, too! This is Yellow Lion! I'm out of control and going down! Me, too! I've got to hold her steady! There's something up there! what it is, but I don't like it. So, Alora, you thought they would save you. Watch. 
while I crush them. Ah! It's not me! Look out, Hunk! I can't get loose! So much for your heroic rescue, Princess. Princess? If you really love me, you wouldn't do this to my friends. But their fate is in your hands, Allura. You know what my conditions are. Do you hear that, space explorers? You will be set free if Allura will be my bride. <sighs> How does that sound, my young friend? Your freedom for her hand. Don't do it, Princess Allura! He's right, Princess. We'll stick with you no matter what. That creep would never keep his part of the bargain. Hey, tough princess, don't give in. Insolence, turn up the power. I hope you're enjoying the show, Allura. I find it quite entertaining. There's nothing I can do. I've got to give in. There's no other way. Voltron will be back after these messages. Now, back to Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Allura. I can hear my father's voice. Allura. Father, please tell me what to do. Allura. I know I've sworn to defend my honor and the honor of our family, but my friends are in great danger, and so are the captives from Planet Pollux. Allura. You must fight for your friends and your honor. You're right, Father. I am an Alliance pilot and a member of the greatest freedom fighters in the universe, the Voltron Force. Go, my daughter. Oh. Uh. Insult, full power, and make sure the transport carrying my captives is secured. Can't let him get away. All right, Red Lion, follow me. They did it. Ruby's arrived. Gigantic! What is it? Something real mean. An octopore. Let's move into action. Form Voltron. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's, Let's go. go. Voltron, Voltron force. force. Go! 
returned the people to their homes and fields where they rejoiced, reunited with their friends and loved ones. Thank you, Cousin Allura. These people owe you their lives. No more than we owe them, Sven. We depend on them as much as they depend on us. And Voltron, defender of the universe! It's wonderful to be able to sit here with friends in peace and quiet without Zarkon or Lotor. Uh, it won't last! I guarantee those creeps are dreaming up bad news for somebody right now! Don't you think they might have learned their lesson by now? No! A tiger doesn't change its stripes! Relax and enjoy the break, hunk. Don't try to dream up more trouble. You know what I think happened? Zarkon ran out of rubies. <laughs> Lotor, you are my son, may I be forgiven. And someday you will be king, may the evil gods help the planet. I have a special assignment to see if you can prove worthy of the throne. Father, whatever it is, you can count on me to bring glory to your great name. We've just discovered a new planet. It could be a rich prize. I want to make it part of my vast empire. Nothing would please me more than conquering a new world. I said it's a special assignment. It includes Voltron. So you want me to kill two birds with one stone? Voltron will try and rescue the people. My magic will do the rest. Zarkon, my father, I promise you, I will conquer the planet and destroy Voltron. Conquering this planet will be one of my easiest missions. Hagar's new deadly robies will make sure of that. This is such a beautiful, peaceful world. The humans will probably give up quickly, rather than see their planet destroyed. I'll concentrate my first attack on that nice little stream and the nearby village. We're being oh, invaded! We need help. It's an attack! We need help. A horrible beast! Help. The power of the Robies will have these people begging for mercy. They'll be an example for the rest of their world. Ela, hurry, be careful. Okay, Trail, here I come. Ela! Trail, come on! What does he want? Attention! 
touch it. I am Lotor, your new master. He wants to make us all his slave. From now on, your planet will be known as Zarkania. We don't know who you are, but we will fight till the very end. Now I must warn all of you people. I'm master. <laughs> we'll fight you. I've conquered this planet easily. They have agreed to follow my rule. I've renamed it in your honor, Father. It's now called Zarkania. It's a good beginning. If you're referring to Voltron, the witch Hagar and I will take care of him. Hagar's magic will change the planet's gravity. When Voltron shows up, he'll be helpless. What fun watching Voltron <laughs> move in slow motion. It'll be more fun when my robeast destroys that mighty robot. <laughs> Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. It was a simple thing to enslave these people. They're working hard to save their world. Even at this very moment, their hard work will make it easier for my magic to change the gravity around this area. My robeast will be protected, but Voltron will find it hard to move. <laughs> Mercy. Shut up and work. Can't we have a drink of this water? No, nothing to drink until you're finished. I quit. I won't work anymore. Good cat. You guards are too nice to these people. I want them working harder. Okay. Trill, I wish there was something we could do. Father, the people have been talking about Voltron. I've already told you that's just a legend. All right, you two, keep working, or I'll throw you over the waterfall. I believe in Voltron. I know that he can save us. Even if there is a Voltron, he doesn't know about us. So we have to do something about this ourselves. It's for sure we can't count on any of the grown-ups for help. Yeah, they're all scared of Lotor. But what are we supposed to do about it? We're just a bunch of kids. Well, maybe we can sneak in there and take Lotor prisoner till they agree to go. Good idea, Ak. It's time for us kids to grow up. Huh? We'll capture Lotor. Got a plan? He's staying in the old castle at Rockwall Mountain. We know that ancient place just as well as we know our own homes. It'd be easy to get in there, and we could capture him sleeping in the royal chambers. Let's do it! Ah, uh, I'm with you too. Great, Obi. I knew I could count on you and your brother to come through at a time like this. Hey, Trill, what about me? You wouldn't think of leaving your sister out of it, would you? Tria, this is strictly a man's job. It's dangerous. Listen, Trill, it's as much my world as it is yours. Listen, fellas, it's not going to do us any good to argue with her. We might as well let her go. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's, Let's go. go! Now listen carefully. Here's the plan. The important thing is to be organized, okay? <laughs> the little ones are plotting against you tonight. <laughs> Let them come. I'll have a surprise waiting that they won't soon forget. Shh. The coast is clear. They must all be asleep. Is unlocked. We can make our move. Yeah, we gotta be careful. 
Quit wasting time. Let's find Lotor. Follow me. We're with you, Trill. Keep going. It's down this hallway. Lotar will be very sorry for the things he's done. Things are very quiet around here tonight. <gasps> Find a place to hide. <gasps> nice castle. Hager's even got her own laboratory. <sighs> Look, there's the door. We're here. I'll check. He's in there all right, sound asleep. We'll have to knock him out, then tie him up. Uh-huh. <gasps> Almost doesn't count in this game. We're not playing games, Lotor. We've got a stun gun and we'll use it. Go ahead. Okay, Lotor, you asked for it. It doesn't work. Here, let me try it. No wonder it doesn't work. It isn't loaded. I fooled you little kids into thinking you could get away with this. I wanted to build your hopes up, then disappoint you. And that's just the beginning. <laughs> We're not afraid of you, Lotor, you <laughs> big bully. I've punished many children on many planets, but your punishment is going to be special. No! We're not afraid. Not of you! I'm their leader. Do what you want with me, but let the others go. <laughs> if I was your age, I'd teach you a lesson. <laughs> Why no? I know what an idea! What is it, witch? You've only completed the first part of the plan by conquering this planet. You might as well use these children to accomplish the most important part, to lure Voltron here, so we can destroy him. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. I called you as soon as the message started coming in. It's a challenge to Voltron. The nerve of Lotor threatening those little children. We'll have to accept his challenge. We'll show them. We'll save them. You know how Lotor is. There definitely will be a trap. That's the chance we're going to have to take. OK, team, there's the planet. Double check all equipment. How do you like being bait for a big fish like Voltron? Voltron knows how to take care of a worm like you. Voltron will rescue us, Lotor. That mighty robot will be destroyed. No. I might as well tell you. Hagar and I will change the gravity with a combination of evil magic and science. It will only affect Voltron. It will make him slow and helpless. You're lying. We'll just see what happens when your hero gets here. <laughs> it's down in this area, toward those mountains. Keep searching till we find those kids. Right. right. What if Voltron never comes? They should be around here someplace. The grown-ups don't even think he exists. We'll free the children, then save the planet. What if Lotor's lying and there's no such thing as Voltron? Don't say that, Trill. We're almost there. I believe in Voltron. I always have and I always will. I'm sorry I got everybody into this. Huh? It's the Voltron Force! They're here! There they are, Lotor! Right on schedule! Voltron doesn't know the gravity of the situation, but I do! Okay, we're here. 
Stay away! They're messing up the gravity! Voltron won't be able to move. Please get out of here! Oh, it's the gravity! The gravity seems normal right now. Please, don't take any chances. Let's go! Go back! Go back! It's time! Whoa! It's the end of Voltron! I've been waiting for this a long time. The Voltron Force will be no more! <laughs> huh? What is that? Are they alive? The lions are coming out of it! Look who's here! Oh, Yay! it's the lion! That hey, was safe! We was came safe. for us! Wow! Yay! Oh, I knew it! Uh, Alora, what happened? Funny thing, Keith. I was going to ask you the same thing. Hey, team! Does anyone have any idea of what happened? Not me! Me neither. I think I have a scientific explanation for this. Tell us! Yes. What? Each lion has a separate anti-gravity device. Even though they operate independently, they're controlled by a single computer. At the heart of the anti-gravity computer is an energy crystal. When the lions unite, it's the energy crystal that gives Voltron its balance. When someone tampers with the gravity, the computer has to reprogram itself and adjusts accordingly. Let's hope the computer did its job adjusting to the gravity. Ha! I won't need this device anymore. The Voltron Force rescued those children, and now they're coming back to save the planet! When the Voltron Force becomes the mighty robot, the gravity will affect him! Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's when my new Roe Beast will take over and finish him! Remember, this is a special Roe Beast that has been equipped with an anti-gravitational magnetic device, so don't worry! If it doesn't work, you better worry! Attention, robots! Fire! Okay, team, smash those weapons! I can't the believe the my eyes! It's, it's, it's the them! It's the real! Concord. It is! It's them! They're real! Hello, Dad. Oh, Trill! You're okay. Where's your sister? She's safe with Princess Allura. We tried to capture Lotor, but he trapped us. Then Voltron saved us. Let's help him. Yes. Attention, my fellow citizens. Our children have taught us a lesson. We should have believed in the mighty Voltron all along. Now let's fight. Let, Let me out. Get the witch. Let me out. Get the witch. Sire, the people are at the gates of the castle. We'll take care of them and Voltron at the same time with the Roe Beast. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. what we need to do. Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlocks. Dinotherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's, Let's go, go Voltron Force!
take care of this row beast. Fire ion darts. Target in. Fire rotor guns. Proton missiles. We're trying everything, Keith, but nothing is getting to him. The controls are all fouled up. This is a result of playing around with gravity. It's getting ready to attack! It twirls that iron ball around like a yo-yo. Watch it! Ah! <laughs> Let's forget all about the computers and automatic controls. We gotta do it ourselves. Okay! okay. Allura, shut off all automatic systems. I'll do it. Sure hope this works. Your order is now punched in. The weapon systems are on manual control. We're ready to proceed, Keith. Okay. Just in time! That road beast is on the attack again! Fire proton missiles, now! We're slower, but we can do it. Try our crusher ball! Okay, go for it! He felt that one! He's got a blazing sword, but so do we! Four blazing sword! Get set, strike! Did we get him? We got him! Now we'll visit Lotor at the castle. Good going! Yay, Voltron! Yahoo! My friends, onward to the castle! <laughs> ah, this simple planet wasn't worth capturing anyway. And we'll get Voltron some other time, sire. There are no words I can say to you to express my thanks. It was your children's bravery that made this possible. Our children's hope is that someday, after they grow up, they can become members of the Voltron Force. Hmm, someday they probably will. Incidentally, we never did find out the name of your planet. It's Bravura, Princess, an ancient word meaning brave ones. Well, you certainly proved that to be true today. You're right, Keith, and we couldn't have done it without them. And our belief in bravery for the sake of peace has been renewed by Voltron, Defender of the Universe! <laughs>